Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Life is Strange gameplay series. Again, this is a no commentary gameplay series, and we will be playing Episode 3, Chaos Theory. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thank you. I knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. All this atmospheric action can't be a coin. First I saved Chloe, then Kate, and now you, Lisa. <laughs> Not a bad record for a week. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... So much hypocrite. Hey, can you come in here for a minute? Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Kate was serious, but it's not all about that video. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. 
I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Come on, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved, like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. I didn't do enough to step up. Now it's time for serious payback. In other words, revenge. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell. And I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. Victor- Not- Ah, oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Since I've crossed the line from- I'll title this one, Portrait de la- Oh, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. It's like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's secret, she's a geek. I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. I know I have a set of keys on me somewhere. Principal ah, Wells, oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he down. sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you, you saved her ass. Maybe save Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Go on back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? I know I have a set of keys on me somewhere. Ah, fuck it. I'm Miss Caulfield. You have to be stealthier than that. Oh, great. He saw me. 
Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. I know I have a set of keys on me somewhere. Oh, great, he saw me. Maybe I could sneak by. Max the ninja strikes again. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing, and your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Not just them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just... Don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know what's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. 
Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. Security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Dead end. Crap. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No keys here. Desolation. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. Nothing to see here. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Ooh. 
of sugar. Only three more items to go. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Release the crack can. It's all mine anyway. You're halfway home, Max. formal and smell. So sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chloride. a scene in a horror film. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some... Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good... Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? You can never escape the lighthouse here. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. The tape is mine. Only one more ingredient left. There's got to be something I can use here. Here's the sodium chloride box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool. Get ready to haul ass. <laughs> that was so fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Open. She can't cheat with her rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep 
Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Only two more files to go. I certainly can't use this. Look at this pile. Tumbleweeds. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully too. Shocker. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. And nothing here. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. You're not so tacky up close. Dude, I know I shouldn't be going through the principal's files, but it's kind of cool. Now's your chance to get revenge on Blackwell. Oh yeah, I'm so bummed I don't get to party with the Vortex Club. There's still time. Especially with you around, right? Don't talk. Search. Oh, I like it when you get bossy. You're finally learning from the master. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. I think we found it like this. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step-troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. 
And you know the Prescott's dropped Major Bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <laughs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. Lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her Boys evil girls. plan. Girls, of course. Girls? Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Where does that other sock go? Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Well, we care, dickhead. I hope so, friend.
Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light! There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Yes, we get it. Otters. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Time to do or dive, Max. Oh yeah, baby, feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Bunga. Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. Ah! I can't <laughs> even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's Revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Thank God, but what if I had? What if Kate didn't jump, but you would be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Warren is... nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out.
gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. your power on getting busted. Anybody there? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. We are so invisible. Let's bail. Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer I just busted lives so I'll be safe? Okay. Into the car! Get in! <laughs> Later, fuckers! Max, you rock! We are so fucking awesome! <laughs> yes, we so are. Always remember this moment. Photobomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. 
I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to walk. I keep waving at the taxis, they keep turning their lights off. But Julie knows a party at Okay, I need to get dressed now. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Frank might think twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, shitstorm. Nice. Chloe put my pick on her phone. I must have proved I was. Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Oh my god, that smells so amazing. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. 
Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. I should evolve and become a vegan, but... Oh, bacon. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? What? <laughs> no way. I know I was selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. And when you took the rap for that joint, you proved it. Thanks. But it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. I guess nobody waters the plant here. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... and... 
I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Heed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Nothing in it. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Nothing to see here. Naturally, David would- I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Oh, shit balls. There's no way Chloe can put that gun back now. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? David has been dragging his head around since 2001? Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Try again. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad and mad.
Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras, so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. David did anything, and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting, or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates, or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. Enough! I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? Maybe I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Why can't you just rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole?
When I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Life is Strange gameplay. This is going to be the last part of episode three, and this will also lead into episode four. I hope you all enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe. But if you don't, that's okay too. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How could... You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Aren't you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother, but I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! Ugh. 
I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you! There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, you don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Thanks. Uh well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Rachel! Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh... How do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me... let me find it. Here. Judge for yourself. I just 
just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! Key brought. Now back to Chloe. Max? Whew. That was close, Alyssa. Okay, Max. This is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. You must be my angel. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. You've paid your dues by saving Kate's life on the roof. You really are a Blackwell hero, Max. No, I'm just lucky. If Kate wanted to jump, she could have. Well, she didn't because she had a friend who cared enough to help. I hope everybody at Blackwell starts caring. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital when they allow visitors. Let's hang later and talk some more. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. We could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar on your body. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Ooh, Frank's stash. No more secrets. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Crappy Wi-Fi out here. Must take him days to download porn. Yuck.
This is almost as good as a set of keys. Curses, nothing here. My blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I... Hmm. Trouble in paradise. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! You totally defended Step Stalker! Fuck everybody! Chloe! Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah blah blah, as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes! Kate Marsh almost killed herself! Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you.
Oh my God, what is happening now? Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William can't is here. Can't, Daddy. Yes, and we can't. Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I Who that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crickles. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat. Breakfast. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real- Chloe chef. was so into manga. Nice hair. Cook here? I am, when your mom is away. Man, I remember Chloe reading this. I'll let her know that. But not after today. I know they never took that big vacation. I know I've seen those pictures before. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car Sorry, today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. It depends. That's true. So Score! Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Roll cook here. 
I am when your mom is away. I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and joys and groceries and... And it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Cold every day. But Never Maxine. I know, sorry, Mad Max. You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is hot. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe.
Max Caulfield. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. 
Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. It's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? <coughs> oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Snow globes are taking over. Drink 
got Buttercup. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Oh, here's the DVD. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? 
I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. <sighs> hey, William. Am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed. But she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William? I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Being around you and Joyce again is... so... nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? I was reading about that missing girl, Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Ah, oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question? Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want.
Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look... Good. Being... I have to go see if Chloe... Max, it is so nice to have you around. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. Nothing here. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just 
putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Chloe. I'll just drift to sleep, dreaming of us here together, forever. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Sorry, William. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always.
Chloe, you're alive. Yes. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss and now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. So close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. To get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three beats Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Darkroom. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or... Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. Unless you want to hang out with him after you stood up for his ass yesterday. Oh, please. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the... I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here?
It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Anything I can do for you, Max? I... I was just waiting for Chloe to get out of the bathroom so we can go. I owe you one. So I'll pretend what you just said is true, Missy. Excuse me. That's Miss Caulfield. Yes, sir. You and Chloe still better be careful where you wander. There are a lot of dark places in Arcadia Bay. What do you mean by dark places? I can't tell you everything that's going on at Blackwell. And you've seen too much already, so please stay out of this, Max. Too late. I already know way too much. So, do you and Nathan Prescott... That little shit-ass Nathan Prescott is lucky he only got suspended. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I could have been suspended, too. I didn't have all the evidence at the time. I... I am sorry, Max. Anyway, I think we can both agree it's been a hard week on all of us. Especially poor Kate Marsh. I tried to help Kate. You did, Max. You saved her life, like a hero, while I left the goddamn dorm roof wide open. I knew Kate was feeling desperate. You even made it to the roof before me or anybody. I knew Kate was desperate too. So did Mr. Jefferson. That guy is an elitist prick, and I'm off duty, so I can say it at home behind his back. Like when Chloe calls me step douche. These artists live in a fantasy world. Jefferson can be pretentious, but so can I. He's been a big influence on my photography. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Elitist. Well, Blackwell Academy is a school for artists, so maybe this isn't the best place for you. I have a family here, Max, and I think Blackwell is the best place for me. Since only I know what's happening. That's why I'm working out the new Blackwell surveillance plan to protect future students so they don't end up like Rachel Amber and Kate Marsh. Although, you're like a walking surveillance system. I appreciate you standing up for me, but I have to be a hard ass and tell you and Chloe to stay the hell out of this. Things are just gonna get more ugly. Chloe and I can take care of ourselves. Now excuse me, Max. I have to get back to my camera. See, I'm an artist too. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? For once, I don't have time to search for the code. I need to find a key. Hey, Missy, you do know I can see you snooping around. Excuse me, Max. Do not touch one goddamn thing. Come on, Max. Sorry. Find a way to get David this out of his cave. Man cave. So, no girls allowed. I give up William, but defend David? Would Chloe hate me if she knew? There's no way I can go to Chloe without going to David's locker. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? I do appreciate you standing up for me. Oh. I promise I'll help Miss David really did protect Chloe. I'm glad I stuck up for him. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts too.
For once, I don't have time. Looks like I need a key or code. I know this padlock. Ah, oh, the keys to the kingdom. Or at least David's locker. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. I wonder if David is going to the party. Excuse me, Max. Do not touch one goddamn thing. Come on, Max. Hey, Find Max. a way to get David out of his cave. I do appreciate you standing up for me. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. There's no way I can go to Chloe without going to David's locker. Yep, locked from the other side. Can't let David see me while I snag his keys. Enter the ninja. Son of a bitch! I just fixed that fuse box. Somebody fix the fuse. Gotcha. I am the key master. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Score. Back to Chloe now. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. It's Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus there's some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a... I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when Kate called the other day. I had no idea what shit she was going through. I 
stopped you from being her friend. But you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. Max! Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while, but I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset. And I know they feel guilty, even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much, and I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did, and we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people. But Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. No boys allowed. <laughs> you are funny, Max. And right. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us.
Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for the school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you all right? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. Don't give up that easy. Just stay away from your sketchbook for a while. You need to keep taking the shot, as Mr. Jefferson says. Stay away from my sketchbook? You don't know me, Max. That's like you staying away from your camera. I think I'll just sit here bummed out, thanks. Maybe you should try different subjects. Something more like your portraits. That makes sense, but not if I can't choose the subjects in class. If only I could draw my photographs. I think I'll just sit here bummed out, thanks. Hey. Daniel, your drawings are your photographs. So draw your photos with your eyes and make the camera your lens pen. Lens pen? Oh, I dig that, Max. That could work for me. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, but he's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but... I'll go. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. It's been so long since I've seen you. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame they don't have co-ed dorms here. 
Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. brings it. So room 111 is the magic number. Now I need to find Nathan's phone, or anything with clues. That is so Chloe. Oh my god! Chloe! Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Bastard. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Please, please, please stay away, Nathan. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be the gameplay of Life is Strange Episode 4. Continued from the last part. I do apologize for the last part ending early. My headphones just decided to die. So here we go again. And again, this will be the last time that you hear me during the entirety of this episode. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have an amazing day. Goodbye. Now I need to find Nathan's phone, or anything with clues. 
That is so Chloe. Oh my God. Chloe. Damn, it's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Nathan is w- oh, Bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Wow. <laughs> Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Holy shit. That's the go- Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. These films all have a dark pattern. Oh man, that dickhead stole one of my selfies. I don't think this prescription has helped Nathan. I thought Victoria had the photo, but that monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <sighs> Bastard. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. I really hope they were all consenting models. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. <sighs> you are so fucking dead. <sighs> Get off me, bro. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Get off me! Please! <laughs> Please stop! He's down! Hey, come on! Stop! <laughs> Sorry! Yes, we have to go! Who's the bitch now? Chloe! Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good, but scary. Damn, that was intense. Warren, uh, 
Thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um, Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. Take the trash out sometime, dude. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. 
Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it. Especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you, like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not. I, I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Step the fuck back now! <laughs> You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! Oh no! I just shot a man, and his dog. I killed Frank Powers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know, but we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Jesus. Chloe actually killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or forget this. And only I can change it. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Or how you used to be. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, or bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog? That figures. Okay, there, you're safe. 
Now what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh. Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me, and then pulled the trigger! To be honest, Frank, you scared me. You held a knife on my friend. I didn't want to pull the trigger. I could tell by the way you held that pop gun, with both hands like it was a magnum. Or maybe I shouldn't have brought that knife to a gunfight. I only want to shoot with my camera. I swear. Ask Chloe. Look, Frank, Max doesn't need a gun anyway. So are we cool? Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Oh, Pompadour is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into my RV. That's how we got out. You did it, are you crazy? That's my dog! Wait, that's not what- Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here! And I'll spin you on your ass! What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank! Calm down, Frank. Let's just Don't talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Step the fuck back now! Oh my god! Gosh! Yeah, you actually shot me! I wasn't gonna hurt you! Oh, this fucking hurts! Oh, it hurts! And Chloe! You shot him! I know. You're both fucking crazy! What do you want? We... We just want the code for your account book. Now! You're fine! Whatever! Just... Just put the goddamn gun down. You already shot me, all right? There. Now leave me alone, all right? Just just get out of my life. Do you want us to call an ambulance, or...? No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. Tell you for a fact that this will not go well. <sighs> Max, I should. You can. Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You. Oh. Listen. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? To be... Okay, we're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only... I love dogs. Period. I wish I had one trained as well as yours. Yeah, he had a bad trainer before. Real bad. But he's dead now. And I trained Pompadou how to be my friend. 
That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. And you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it any time and she'll always be there for me. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. Yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Cool, Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Chloe. Are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Oh, no. This is not working. Better look for any clues or numbers that could be his pen code. Couldn't hurt to give this pen code a whack. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing all oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Oh, there has Got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the- Looks like this is not relevant at all. <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. Start hacking. Oops, bad code. <sighs> I 
yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass. Bad code. Oops, bad code. Bad code. Oops, bad code. Bad code. Yes. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan. You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan, it's time for you to watch out, asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe those clues are not related. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. Does David know what's going on with Rachel or is he just paranoid about everybody? I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Now, how do I find out? Yep, another car David was tracking. Huh. 
Who else was David tracking here? Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? Those clues are interesting. Is this Nathan? Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. Come on, deduce Nathan's license plate number, then match it up with the coordinates. Hmm, who does this car belong to? Max, there's no logical link between those clues. Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues. Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Frank's account book. But the client... Frank is for sure the local dealer, but... I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. Right? So... What happened to Rachel? Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Looks like this is not relevant at all. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Roger that. Okay, Max, remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. <laughs> that explains a lot. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Take a breath, Max. That beach is like Frank's main office. Max, there's no logical link between those clues. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So. He could be hiding clues there. If I can match one of the text messages and transactions with Frank, then I can find the exact location. 
This is like goddamn math. I suck. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. Since Kate left the party early with Nathan, I should search for texts, locations, and transactions in the evening. No. This is not working. Damn. I, I must have missed something. So... This infamous party was the fourth. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. <laughs> Poor rich Nathan. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? Max, just match the right text message with the right account book entry. Then you'll finally discover where Nathan took Kate. Looks like this is not relevant at all. Not much out there. This makes no sense, Max. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just a shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. 
somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. I found the front door! Come on! Oh, yes! Maximus rules! God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest! A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, 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 look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescott's bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Yes, old Prescott Cl This tractor has paid its dues. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. So many haystacks. So few needles. Just rotting wood. <sighs> Nothing here. Old. <sighs> 
nothing here. Good old days. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some... Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Up, up and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. <clears throat> wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Ah, oh, the good old days. this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. strikes again. On the front door. Come on. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. 
little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, 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 look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. No more secrets, Sean Prescott. Whoa. What is this? It's totally brand new. Why? No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Hop, hop, and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Driver strikes again. I found the front door. Come on. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, 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 look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. So many haystacks, so few needles. Old. Old. Whoa. What 
is this? It's totally brand new. What? No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Hop, hop and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Hey, Chloe, can you attach the hook to that padlock? Oh, you are clever. I am all over this. Thy will be done. Then you better step away from that hatch. strikes again. to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. This bunker is so surreal. That only worked in the movies. Open sesame. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. hell is this? I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Oh, that son of a bitch. That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. 
She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my god. Rachel, Kate, all these files. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Somebody likes their whiskey. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Needles. Gross. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign.
I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe? We can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. That eclipse! You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too Jesus, moved. Chloe, look up at the sky! Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies! I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so... I want to have something... for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. Okay, Chloe. 